Um, good evening, everybody. We are here to do the log logistics Q&A for the logistics and supply chain management level three. So I'm going to quickly take you through a PowerPoint, just a bit of information about the course and what, what why you should take logistics. And then we will have a Q&A at the end. So this course is in uh, association with the Careers College. They're supporting us. Uh, we're a partnership with them. So I am just going to share my screen now with you so you can see the PowerPoint. So you should be able to see it now. Right, so there's a little introduction here and um, I'll just sort of summarise for you from Bev Jones and Mark Silverman, the joint CEOs of Careers College Trust. So they're very excited about this um, new journey through uh, into logistics with West Suffolk College. It's uh, technical, uh, the technical advancements that have been made recently and the way that logistics is rapidly growing due to the different factors that we've experienced recently. Um, so it's a massively growing sector. So Careers College have identified this and they want to give you the real life industry experience in a bespoke package that's employer led and they're very excited about this way of developing a course and they're looking at skill gaps and they're, and they're working with a company in the Netherlands as well to really give you that international feel and, and that global logistics element. So why would you study logistics? It sounds like something not necessarily very exciting. You've not really considered it before. You're thinking, oh, I don't know. It, what what just a lorry here and a lorry there well actually it's much more interested in that and there's never been a better time to join the industry now 33 percent of the uh, employees in the industry are about to retire so there's going to be a massive skill shortage um and it's actually a, a industry that's shown great resilient resilience and flexibility throughout the pandemic so obviously logistics underpins our whole economy and everyday life, everything, all our goods and products. Most of us use Amazon now, things like that, even just how your food gets to the supermarket. So, and, and the one thing I've been following a lot recently, and you'll see quite a lot of um, news about, is the logistics of getting the vaccine, the COVID vaccine uh, distributed, especially from Belgium, and how to get that around the world in, in an efficient way. So with the dramatic increase in online business and e-commerce, that's gone up. Uh, from I think 19% to 25% in six months. So there's a high demand for this talent in the industry, which means there are so many career opportunities right now, which so it's a good place to get involved. So these are the key drivers that are driving our skill shortage in logistics. So you've got the ones that you've probably heard on the news or actually experienced yourself. So the impact of COVID-19, the impact of Brexit, the rapid place of uh, evolution of technology, you know, that we're only days away to having a new delivery drone delivery system in Scotland to drop medicine and to drop vaccines to very remote areas of Scotland. We've got the increased awareness of environmental uh, environmental studies and the sustainability. So we're looking at ways of reducing and cleaning up our environment and making logistics more sustainable. We also have the impact of digital uh, disruption. So we're thinking like cybercrime. So there's all that kind of thing as well. And then we just have the change in nature of work and you know we've got like the impact of the gig economy and its growth. So they're key drivers. So West Suffolk is very excited about this. This is a very unique uh, programme delivered over two years. We're going to hopefully work with some international partners. There is one in the Netherlands and there are other venues and we should be collaborating on a on a regular basis, sometimes even on a weekly basis using online technology. We're going to have a range of employers. We've just secured new guest speakers today as well in the logistics sector. So it's going to be quite an exciting programme and we're going to have lots of webinars and industry specialists. So students will have the opportunity to even maybe go on a study exchange programme to the Netherlands in the second year if everything works out well with the pandemic. So we look at benefits, the skills and characters. When you're studying logistics at West Suffolk College, 
not only will we try and uh, get you ready for the future, uh, uh, maybe for future studies and employment, we also try to build activities in our course to help you de uh, develop things like self-control, optimism, confidence, curiosity, ownership, resilience and respect and ambition. These are some pillars and character strengths that we at West Suffolk aim to impart in all our learners before they leave us. We would hope that after the course, your progression would be either to a higher education with us, or maybe you'd start working in roles or apprenticeships such as supply chain manager, port worker, traffic engineer, or warehouse operator, but there's loads of positions and I'm gonna go through them further in a minute. So to get on the course, we're looking for you to have five GCSEs at grade C if you're old like me or four and above if you're younger. That would include your maths and English at a grade five or above. It's very important to have both your maths and English um, as this is quite a um, academic course as well as uh, vocational and technology uh, uh, hands on. You need to ha there is technology involved in it, but we would still like you to have good maths and English or an appropriate level two qualification at a merit grade, including GCSE, maths and English at a four or above. So, course structure. So you're going to have the three main uh, mandatory units that everybody will take, and that is introduction to supply chain logistics and modes of transportation for supply chain logistics. And the one I'm most excited about is the geography for supply chain logistics which is um, studying like world ports and looking at all the different areas of um, the network. So even looking at like airports and um, delivery routes and all that kind of thing. So that's quite a cool one to be doing. Then we're going to look at things like sustainability, trade laws, imports and exports, how warehouses operate. You know, we'll, we have connections to Amazon and their warehouses, so we probably when we get through this pandemic, probably have a little visit to them as well, hopefully. We'll look at some digital career development and we'll look at the sort of team leadership as well, the communicating and collaborating online. These are all key skills and I think we've really learned through the pandemic that these are going to be skills that we'd like to embed and make sure that you leave with decent skills in that sense so that you can work from anywhere because the supply chain logistics type roles that are out there, they've carried on throughout the pandem pandemic. And another exciting one we'll look at is technology and automation. So there's a lot of automation. DHL are strongly uh, an Amazon. They've got lots going on with their, their automation. So we will assess you in a range of ways while you're with us. There'll be project work, some written assignments, some practical activities. We'll do observations, we'll give you feedback and you'll have little tasks to, to, to like experience. And we will hopefully have that inter uh, international dimension that we talked about earlier. We are really big on working collaborative in an online sense, but also with peers in the UK and other parts of the world. It's just nice to um, share how things are done in different areas and get that, that shared knowledge. So there are a fantastic amount of uh, careers opportunities uh, at the moment in logistics. So it's not just the single job role that you're going into, it's quite diverse. So you've got administrator roles in the supply chain, you've got in-sports and exports, you've got transport planning, uh, you've got managers of supply chain or warehouse, you've got your freight forwarding, you've got planning, you've got the international trade and logistics, because obviously there's a whole international uh, element as well when you're trading goods. You've got procurement um, and asset management and assistant type roles. You've got logistics engineers as well who are vital to keeping the logistics chain going. You've got demand planners. Uh, when you think about the pandemic and the loo roll situation, they will have been squirreling away trying to plan out how they meet the demand there. Um, we've got project managers, finance directors, HR managers, um, you name it that it's got it and you've got global procurement that's and customs there's a lot of roles in customs at the moment due to um, Brexit so there's a wide range of roles offered by numerous employers some that you wouldn't even think of like Decathlon is a massive one for employing logistics so is Lidl um, the armed forces is obviously one and we've secured a guest speaker from the armed forces today to come and talk to us from the Royal Corps 
Um, and we've got the NHS, ASOS, Next, Amazon, um, DHL, DPD, Mersk, um, and there's numerous others. So um, if you're thinking about a career pathway in logistics, you might be thinking about working all over the UK. If you're keen on travel, there's going to be lots of opportunities for travelling. There's going to be a range of apprenticeships you could um, progress on if you'd like to earn money while you're learning or maybe you'd like to go into higher education and to support that your career progression so that you can go into the industry at a different level. So the Careers College has been developed in partnership with different employers, both national and international, and we've made this tailor-made tailor logistics qualification and it looks at the skills that the businesses were looking for. That makes this course meaningful because it will give you all the skills and you'll be you'll be equipped ready to go straight into the industry. But that's really all it from me and I wondered if you had any questions. And there's some contact details for you if you would like to get if you've got any further longer concerns you can reach the head of department there or if you'd like a copy of these slides to go over there's a copy of my email address there that you could reach me on and I'll send you a copy of the slides. So I'll just go to any questions. So Anonymous said what what units does the course cover? So I just ran through quickly with um, the. Hang on, I'll just stop sharing screen one second. I, ran, I went through Quickly, we had the units that we would be looking to cover would be. So you've got the three mandatory ones, introduction to supply chain logistics, modes of transportation for supply chain logistics and geography for supply chain logistics. And then we shall do a mixture of sustainability and supply chain logistics operations, international trade imports and exports, contract law, warehousing operations within supply chain logistics, technology and automation in supply chain logistics, the role of freight forwarding within supply chain logistics, digital career development, communicating and collaborating online, team leadership in supply chain logistics, and finally but not least, improving performance in supply chain logistics. So that's all the units that we would be doing. So afterwards, uh, what could you do when you've left this course? Well, like I said there, you've got the option of going into higher education, maybe applying through UCAS to university. Um, you could also try an apprenticeship. By the, by the time you've finished the two years with us, there's probably going to be a T level in this area as well, I should imagine. So there'll be lots of uh, opportunities, but there is a lot of apprenticeships that we find with, um, with logistics. So what, how many days a week is the course? So I feel like the course is three days of the week. I think we're yet to decide which days, but it will definitely be three days. And there is a, a large element of home learning and online learning, I would imagine still. The course is assessed with a mixture of, uh, of assessment. So that's a mixture of activities, some practical, some written, some project work. We maybe will observe you doing some things so we've got some customer service uh, type uh, elements to it so that probably could be done as a task observation so we but one of the big things is some of it will be project work in collaboration with other areas of the uk and maybe internationally the deadline for applications i'm not quite sure catherine i'm going to pass over to you do you know when the deadline for applications is um, uh, there, there actually kind of isn't one. Um, we are obviously asking for applications as soon as possible. As Amy said, it's a, a brand new course, so we're keen to get, get numbers up as much as possible. If we don't get numbers, then um, there is a very slim chance that we won't run the course. So you need we need to make a decision with staffing and things, but um, get in your application as soon as possible. The biggest thing with applying to any course is get your application in. If you can get your application in, doesn't mean that you definitely have to come to us. The more applications you put in, it keeps your options open. Um, the way it works is you put in your application, 
Um, you'll then get a phone call from Amy as the course director for logistics who will talk to you about it, give you a bit more information. You can ask any questions one to one um, and then from there we can then um, get hold of you and you come in or however it works in August um, to start the course in the beginning of September. So as far as deadlines, it's get it in as soon as you can. Um, but the, the very latest would be just before we start in September. Um, but you do run the risk of either the course being full if it proves very popular or we might have to pull the course before then if we don't get the numbers. So as soon as you can. And then, oh, hang on, are we going back to me? Right, there we are. So um, do you have to come for an interview? Yes, we'd like to meet you and I'm sure you'd like to meet us and make sure you uh, kind of get a bit more of a feel for the course. You should be able to, we could probably do online interviews, phone interviews. You might want to come for a look round at some point as well when we uh, get to the other side of this pandemic. Um, there are lots of exciting opportunities in, in this area where people refer negatively to the pandemic. Logistics is actually thriving. You know, online shopping increased from 19% to 25% just in six small months. You know, we've had Brexit. Brexit will change the way we trade with other countries around the world. So careers in logistics and international trade is going to be really important moving on in the future. And 33% of the workforce set to retire. That's going to leave a massive gap for you guys. That's going to be a lot of jobs to fill in, um, especially when we have 2.5 million people working within that industry. So it's a huge industry and you will have seen lots in the news recently. You might have seen that Amazon and Tesco are helping distribute vaccines using the refrigerated lorries. The reason they're able to do this is where they've had that extra capacity due to hospitality closures. They've been able to use their planning tools and their organisation to identify that they would be able to help in that logistics environment of getting that supply around the country. You know, we're going to have border control and trade routes that are going to be in and out of the news for quite some time following the Brexit news. You've got the armed forces recently in the news for the distribution and ad administration of the things are a huge employer of logistics um, graduates. So that is a major area and it's not just the army. There's logistics right through the military if that's something that you're interested in. You also have the fact that there's been this massive growth during lockdown and you know the fact that we've got things like drone delivery as well at the moment, that's a whole new area as well coming into logistics is this automation and the, the rapid um, incline in technology. And then just even look at the things like Deliveroo, the expansion of you know Uber Eats, the things that you probably don't think of every day as uh, logistics, but they are obviously uh, organised and um, to meet demand and all that. They're still exactly the same as any other logistics sort of um, uh, planning. They need the same skills. And then you, you've got if you want to work in any of the airports. So logistics is a great career if you're thinking of working in any of the airports. We've obviously got a lot of airports around us. You know, we live in an area where we're surrounded by, you know, we've got Norwich, we've got Stansted, we've got Heathrow, we've got uh, Luton and then we've got South End on Sea. We've got quite close connections. We're not too far away and 40% of our UK imports and exports pass through an airport. We've then got the job security. There's great job security in logistics because it's already always growing. So there's quite a lot that you can um, access. You know, we are a global nation. 90% 90, 90 of everything we buy arrives by sea. Port logistics play an important role in keeping the UK competitive in that global market. If you look, we're quite near uh, ports. Uh, I believe um, Ipswich is is a port there. There's um, uh, uh, there's somewhere else near here as well. It's, there's quite a few port areas. We we're on that coastal bump of of the UK in East Anglia. So we are, you know you've got Kings Lynn as well. There's quite a lot of places that are connected um, in that sense. And then you've got um, just just how much opportunities that there are for young people, given the fact that there's so many areas with gaps at the moment. And that's what Careers College have done is identify these skill gaps and worked with industry to develop a programme that is tailored to meet the business needs. So this is a great collaboration between college, the Careers College and industry. 
So there's lots of chance for work experience. Does anybody have any other questions? Oh, hang on. Yeah, sorry. What equipment would I need to learn from home? Um, some people access Teams on their phone. Some have a tablet, some have a laptop. Nothing expensive, just basically something that can connect to the Internet is usually adequate enough. After applying, when we were, when will I hear back? Pretty soon, we try to keep on top of applications, so you usually hear pretty much, not instantaneously, but within a couple of weeks. It's, it doesn't take too long. Um, if I don't meet the entry requirements, is there any other way to get on the course? Um, that's a tricky one. That's why we like to do interviews um, so we can get to know you. Maybe there's a reason why you didn't get the grades or something. Maybe, you know, there's we, we will always look at each candidate, each learner as an individual. So it's always worth applying, even if you're not sure. We might always ring you up and have a chat about that and see if we can work something out. And if we can't find your place on, on this course, we'll try to make sure that you are given the right advice to find the right course for you. What is the balance between practical and theory? Someone has asked. So there is going to be um, obviously practical elements and theory elements. I think there's going to be quite a nice balance. It should be there's quite um, quite a lot of units that are a written assessment, but there are also we try, like to try and keep it mixed up. It's a meant, learning's meant to be engaging. Education should be fun, so we do try to keep a nice balance. We're not here to bore you to death or make it incredibly difficult. Um, any other questions? Or is that, are we there at the end of the questions? Any last minute questions? Have I managed to cover everything everybody would like? And you'll have a range of lecturers as well. There'll be numerous lecturers, numerous experts and industry experts will try and get guest speakers. So you, you will have a mixture of people to bring that balance of, of getting the experience from numerous, numerous lecturers and, and things. Anything else? I'm not seeing any more questions. Let me just make sure I've answered them all. Right, so I'm going to take that as all the questions for this evening. And um, it's thanks for joining us. If you've got any more questions, feel free to get in touch. You can do this by uh, ringing the college. You can contact Catherine Locke on her email address of catherinelock.lock at wsc.ac.uk or you can contact me. I'm Amy Sparks at amy.sparks at wsc.ac.uk. If you'd like a copy of the PowerPoint, I'm quite happy to send you that. Thanks for coming. It's been great and hopefully we'll see you soon when you apply and we interview you. Cheers. Goodbye, everybody.